Hey foodies and welcome back to Cooking with Kiana. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make beef and broccoli in the crock pot. Now I know you guys are used to seeing this recipe done on top of the stove as a stir fry, but let me ensure you this way gives the sauce way more flavor. So let's start cooking. So for this recipe you're going to need a pound and a half of beef ch chopped into small pieces, one bag of frozen broccoli or fresh broccoli, carrots, three large potatoes, the carrots and the potatoes are optional, green onion, yellow onion, fresh ginger or ginger paste, four cloves of garlic, teriyaki sauce, soy sauce, and oyster sauce, complete seasoning, Larry's seasoned salt, onion powder, black pepper, and a Maggie Boyan cube or beef stock. All right, so let's start cooking. So I'm gonna start off by chopping up one medium onion and you just wanna roughly chop these. You don't have to chop these super small because they're going inside the stew anyways, but it's up to you. If you like them small like that, then by all means, you cut them small. All right, so once we're done with that, we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna get started on chopping these carrots. Now the carrots are optional, you don't have to use them but it does sweeten up the beef and broccoli a little bit and it gives the dish a little pop of color. So I'm just gonna julienne these carrots just so they can cook evenly. And to be honest, it just looks prettier. All right, so once we're done cutting that up, we are gonna set that aside. Then I'm gonna chop up three stalks of scallion and set that aside as well. So as you can see, I got my fresh ginger. Obviously you wanna make sure you remove that skin and I'm just gonna go ahead and grate that. Now, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and grate these garlic cloves. Now, you don't have to grate this. I'm just being lazy. You can go ahead and chop these if you want to. You can also use ginger paste and garlic paste. If you're gonna use that, use about two teaspoons of each. All right, so this is what it looks like when it's all done. Now, as you guys can see, I got that beautiful scotch bonnet pepper. It is super spicy, so I'm gonna just go ahead and take out all of those seeds. Then I'm gonna chop that finely as well, and that is gonna give this dish a wonderful flavor. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and peel and dice these four large potatoes. All right, so now I'm gonna head over to my stove, and we are just gonna go ahead and put that stove on medium to high heat, and we're gonna add in all of that beef chuck. We're just going to brown this meat first a little bit before we put it in the slow cooker. So now we're going to add in our seasonings. I use onion powder, complete seasoning, Larry seasoning salt, and black pepper. I used about a teaspoon of each. So now we're just going to go ahead and cook that until it is browned. As you can see, all of those juices are starting to release out. When we transfer it to the crock pot, we wanna make sure we transfer all of those juices as well, cause that's gonna make this beef and broccoli really saucy. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in the soy sauce, the oyster sauce, and the teriyaki sauce. And I added about one fourth of a cup of each. Now I'm gonna add two cups of water and one Maggie Boyan cube. You can substitute this for two cups of beef broth instead. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the ginger, the garlic, and the scotch bonnet pepper. And boy, let me tell you, this is gonna give this dish great flavor. So now we're gonna go ahead and put that lid on and let that cook for about an hour just to make sure that meat gets extra tender. After an hour, we're gonna go ahead and open that up and we are gonna add in the potato, the carrots, and the onions. And I'm also gonna add in one half of a teaspoon of accent seasoning. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and mix everything together. And then we're gonna put that lid on and let that simmer for three hours and let all of those seasonings really marry in together. After three hours, you wanna go ahead and make that slurry. And I'm using three tablespoons of cornstarch. And then I'm gonna add three tablespoons of water. And you really wanna make sure you mix that in until it is a smooth consistency. Once this is all mixed together, we're just gonna take that slurry and we're gonna add that directly into the crock pot. Okay, so now I'm just gonna stir that up until it starts to thicken. As you can see, it does not take it long to thicken. All right, so we're gonna close that up and we're gonna get started on this broccoli. So I'm gonna blanch this broccoli for about three minutes. I'm just doing this because I wanna remove all of the excess water. And I also want this broccoli to be a tad bit tender before we even add it to the crock pot, just so I don't end up with mushy broccoli. 
last step is just adding in that broccoli and mixing everything together. As you can see, this has a lot of gravy. It's very hearty and it's great, especially seeing that it's starting to get cold outside. This is great comfort food. I hope you guys enjoyed this easy recipe. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore cooking with Kiana. That way you can get more recipes that I don't post on YouTube. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. That way you can see more videos like this. It also helps me out a ton. Leave a comment letting me know what's your favorite comfort food. Who knows, I might make it in the future. If you guys enjoyed this recipe, subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss a new recipe from me every week. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.